Anyways, welcome to history class. <laughs> All right, before we get into anything, let's just go ahead and review our map. Let's review um, our, technically it would be SS8, right? Um, but I'm going to be using the back of the book. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go over quiz six with you. I am going to explain something about quiz seven with you, okay? Um, because quiz seven is tricky. So I'm going to help you a little bit on quiz seven today. So um, um, if you do not have an adult home with you, um, come back to this video later. That way you can know what you need to do for quiz seven. Okay. All right. So, we've been learning about the, uh, I keep saying um today, so that's like my thing. I'm trying to not do it right now because it's really annoying, especially for you guys who have to listen. Let's, um, there it is again. Let's study these countries that are zoomed in from the Mediterranean Sea coast. Let's study these. We have Beirut, Lebanon, Jerusalem, Israel, Amman, Jordan, Damascus, Syria. Let's say those again. Ready? Beirut, Lebanon, Jerusalem, Israel, Amman, Jordan, Damascus, Syria. You guys read about Syria yesterday on, well not yesterday, Tuesday? Tuesday on your own. So I hope that you um, did well on that. And I will be checking out, checking it out. Um, there it is again. Then we have Turkey, Iraq, Baghdad, Iraq, Tehran, Iran, mm, Riyadh, uh, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Armenia, Georgia, the island country of Cyprus, We have Ankara, Turkey, or Ankara, Turkey. Over here are the ruins of Troy, and that's really cool. You guys have probably noticed these things. Okay, so I am going to say a country, and I want you, I want you to point to it as fast as you can on your book map. Are you ready? Iran. Did you get it? Okay. I'll hold it up so that when I tell you the answer, you can do it. Okay, Iran. Okay, are you ready for the next one? Saudi Arabia. Did you get it? It's this big pink one right here. What's the capital of Saudi Arabia? We haven't really learned about it yet, but we could start learning about it now. It's right here, Riyadh. Okay. Jerusalem. It's a city, it's not the country, it's the city right here. The capital of Israel is Jerusalem. Okay, what about Turkey? It's up here, Turkey. Okay, what about Syria? It's this one right here. What is the capital of Syria? You learned about it yesterday. Damascus, and did you ever figure out what um, important person from the Bible was walking to Damascus and he encountered God? Paul. That is, remember he used to be named Saul and then he was going to Damascus and after that he changed his name to Paul. Okay, what about Iran? I know we already did this one. I want you to do it again. Iran. It's this one right here. What's the capital of Iran? Tehran. Iran. What's the capital of Iraq? Baghdad, Iraq. Okay, now let's have you do a little one. Find Kuwait. Find Kuwait. It's this little baby purple one right here. You can't even see it. Right here. Okay, now find the Black Sea. It's up here. The Black Sea. What about the Persian Gulf? That's down here. Okay, the Mediterranean Sea. That's over here. The Caspian Sea, the largest lake in the world. The Caspian Sea, down here. The Red Sea, down here. 
Okay, I think that's enough with our map for today. Go ahead and either turn to page 330 or get out SS8. It's up to you which one you want to use. I'm using this one because it's all in the same book. It's easier for me. But if you have your paper out, that's good too. Okay, let's talk about our um, lines of latitude. We have the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, the Tropic of Capricorn, and the Antarctic Circle. What is the main meridian, the main line of longitude called? Remember, lines of longitude are called meridians. What is the most important one? The prime meridian. The prime meridian is our most important meridian. And when we combine our lines of latitude and our lines of longitude, we get our globe with the grid on there. Okay? All right. So let's go over your quiz number six. Get out a pen of your choice. Okay? Get out a pen of your choice. You could choose pink, you could choose blue, you could choose green. Maybe not yellow because yellow is hard to see and I need to be able to see what you did on your quiz in your pictures, <laughs> okay? So let's go over your quiz number six, okay? Quiz number six. You are going to be crossing out with an X if you get one wrong and you need to correct it with the correct answer. So if you get one wrong, you need to mark it with an X and then put the correct answer next to the answer you put with your pencil or your black pen, whichever you chose to use. Okay, number one, the largest peninsula in the world is the A, Arabian Peninsula. The Arabian Peninsula is the largest in the world. Number two, the Triangular Peninsula where the Israelites wandered for 40 years. Which one is that? That would be C, the Sinai Peninsula. Okay, that means letter number three, modern day Turkey, is letter B, the uh, um, Asia Minor. Okay. Then you had short answer where you had to fill in the correct answers. Number four, land that is able to grow crops is fertile. F E R T I L E, fertile. Number five, Dry, grassy plains found between the desert and the Mediterranean lands are known as steppes. S-T-E-P-P-E-S. -E -P -P -E steppes. Number six. The imaginary lines on the earth that run east to west are lines of latitude. They go from east to west. They go sideways. Latitude. L-A-T-I-T-U-D-E. Latitude. Number seven, the imaginary lines on the earth that run north to south are lines of longitude, L-O-N-G-I-T-U-D-E. Then for section three, they um, were quizzing you on your lines of latitude and longitude. So letter number eight is letter E, the Antarctic Circle, letter E, all the way down there at the south. Number nine, the Arctic Circle is letter A. Number 10, the equator is letter C. Number 11, the prime meridian. You know, I should be showing you these. That way you can see. Okay, so number 8, the Antarctic Circle is down here, letter E. Number 9, the Arctic Circle is up here, letter A. Number 10, the equator is the main line of latitude, letter C. Number 11, the prime meridian is the main line of longitude. That's letter F. Number 12, the Tropic of Cancer is up here, letter B. And number 13, the Tropic of Capricorn is letter D down here in between the equator and the um, Antarctic Circle. Okay, so that is quiz number six. Make sure you have that graded and ready to send back to me to today. Okay, all right. Well, I will go over quiz seven with you at the end of today's video. I will not forget because I have it right here, but I need to turn my page. There we go, we got it. Okay, so let's get out our books, get out your notes, get out everything that you need, <laughs> okay? And let's turn in our books to page 57. You guys, 
read part of 57 with me and then you read part of 57 on your own where you learned about Damascus. What is special about Damascus? Damascus is the oldest one of the oldest cities in the entire world. It's not the oldest city in the entire world, but one of the oldest cities in the entire world. Okay? All right. So we today are going to be reading about the country of Jordan and Iraq. So let's start reading on page, oof, page 57 right here, Jordan. Be ready to say all of the bold words with me, all of the words that are underlined and things like that. And don't forget to write them down in your notes later, okay? Jordan. Jordan is over four times larger than Israel. It's neighbor to the West. The British controlled Jordan from 1921 to 1946 when it became an independent kingdom. In 1952, King Hussein, say that with me, King Hussein became the country's leader and ruled until his death in 1999. About half of the Arabs who lived in Jordan are Palestinians who fled when Israel became an independent nation in 1948. Most Jordanians follow the Islamic religion. So, most of the people who live in Jordan follow what religion? Islam. And who was their first king in 1952? King Hussein. And he died five years after I was born in 1999. All right, let's keep reading about Jordan. The capital city, Amman, how do you say the capital? Amman, and the capital, Amman, is the capital of what country? Jordan, Amman, Jordan, is located on old trade routes and is still a major trading center. Here's a picture of Amman, okay? Around 1000 BC, Amman was the capital of the Ammonites, ooh. King David and Joab led the Israelites in the capture of the city. Later, other groups captured Ammon. Okay. Now, let's start talking about Iraq. Iraq. Mesopotamia, where the Assyrian and Babylonian empires once raised their proud heads, is now called Iraq. Some Bible scholars believe that the Garden of Eden may have been located in this area. That's pretty cool. The country's two principal rivers, the Tigris and Euphrates, flow southeast from the mountains of Turkey toward the Persian Gulf, providing Iraq with some of the best farmland in the Middle East, up here. About one-third of the Iraqi people are farmers, with the other two-thirds living in cities. Over 4 million people live in Baghdad, the capital and largest city. So what is the capital of Iraq? Baghdad. And up here is a picture of Baghdad. What is the capital of Iraq? Baghdad. What is the largest city of Iraq? Baghdad. Baghdad is the largest city and the capital city of Iraq. How many people live in Baghdad? Over 4 million people live there. Okay, let's keep reading right here. Basra is Iraq's most important port near the Persian Gulf. Most of the Iraqi people are Arabs, but there is also a large group of Kurds, a semi-nomadic people who live in the Northeast. The majority of Iraqis follow the Islamic religion. Since 1980, Iraq has fought three wars. First, the Iran-Iraq War in 1980 to 1988 brought numerous casualties and burdened the Iraqi economy with a large war debt. So because of this war, Iraq had to spend a ton of money that they were not able to pay back. Down here. Then in 1990, the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein, what's his name? Saddam Hussein directed an invasion of Kuwait. How do you say this? Kuwait. A small oil-rich kingdom to the south. In the Persian Gulf War in 1991, the United States led an international force against Hussein and liberated Kuwait, causing the Iraqi forces to retreat with heavy losses. So, in 1991, what happened with the Persian Gulf War is that Saddam Hussein 
right here, the dictator of Iraq. He invaded the tiny nation, tiny kingdom of Kuwait. And the United States said, that's not very nice. So they went over there and they helped to free Kuwait from the dictatorship of Saddam Hussein. Okay, right here. After the war, Hussein's government remained a source of international tension. That means it affected tons and tons of different nations and countries throughout the world. The United States and a coalition of nations invaded Iraq in 2003 to remove dictator Saddam Hussein. I remember that. It was a big deal. Hussein was captured. He was then tried and executed by an Iraqi court. Under American supervision, the Iraqis held the first free elections in their country in 50 years. American troops remain in Iraq to maintain stability and order, helping Iraq to establish a democratic society. Okay, so on your notes, in your notes for your paper, we are going to do this together. So I need to see today, when you turn stuff in, I need to see a picture of your corrected quiz six. I need to see a picture of your history notes that you took right now or when we're finished. And then I need to see a picture of um, comprehension 4D because I'm going to help you with these answers today. And then when you're all done, take your history quiz and send me a picture of your history quiz 7. Okay? So number one. What natural resource from Lebanon was treasured in the ancient world? We learned about this last um, class on Tuesday. Solomon used this resource when he was building the great temple. And those would be the cedar trees of Lebanon. The cedars of Lebanon. C-E-D-A-R-S. Cedars of Lebanon. It's a type of tree. Number two, what is Lebanon's capital? Do you remember? Beirut. Capital B-E-I-R-U-T. Beirut is the capital of Lebanon. Number three. The Apostle Paul was converted to Christ as he journeyed to what city in Syria? It's today's capital of Syria. Damascus. Damascus, Syria. Capital D-A-M-A-S-C-U-S. Damascus. Number four. Amman, the capital of what country is located on the old trade routes and is still a major trading center today. All right, we just talked about this today. Can you find it on this page? It's on this side. Amman, Jordan. Amman, Jordan, the, city, the nation of Jordan. Okay, number six. Whoa, I skipped number five. Number five. <laughs> what is the capital of Iraq? The capital of Iraq is Baghdad, capital B-A-G-H-D-A-D, -A -A Baghdad. Number six, what aggressive action started the Persian Gulf War? And I'm going to let you answer this one on your own because it's right here. The, in the Persian Gulf War, the United States... Uh-huh, right here. Um, then, in 1990, the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein directed an invasion of Kuwait, a small oil-rich kingdom to the south. Ooh, sounds like I just gave you the answer. But if you need more help, just read this little section right here, and that's where your answer is for number six. Okay. For those of you who do not have an adult at home and cannot take your quiz right now, goodbye. And when you come back, just click fast forward to 19 minutes and 36 seconds, okay? All right. All right. So those of you who have parents at home, woo, we are going to talk about quiz number seven, okay? Quiz number seven. Now, Quiz number seven, questions one through eight are perfectly fine, okay? Numbers one through eight are just fine. However, um, I would like for us to fix section uh, three, so numbers nine through 12.
countries are. So, number nine is Tehran, Iran. Number 10, Ankara, Turkey. Number 11, Amman, Jordan. Number 12, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Okay? So, pause your video if you need to. Write down these corrections. Okay? And then once you're done with that, then you can start. Okay? So, I hope that you do well on your history quiz today. And that's it, guys. Have a great day, okay? Bye!